Hey guys, I hope you've been well. Um, I'm here today to share with you uh, September's Beauty Heroes box, which features Josh Rosebrook. And it is always so exciting for me when Beauty Heroes features Josh Rosebrook. So these are the three products that you'll be getting um, if you're signed up for Beauty Heroes or if you plan to sign up. And this month we've got one hero and two sidekick products. I'm not wearing any makeup on my face because I'm planning to um, demo these products for you and I only just washed my face but because I didn't moisturize or anything um, and you'll see why because the first hero product is actually a mask and so my face is feeling pretty tight right now because there's I don't have anything on so I'm just going to spritz some of the um, Josh Rosebrook hydrating accelerator this is one of the sidekicks and it's a product that has been a sidekick in a previous Beauty Heroes box as well. I really don't like when my face feels really tight, you know? So these three products brings the value of this month's box to $132. And as a Beauty Heroes member, if you sign up, you can get this box for about $42 to $43. It's like $42, $42.95 a month, but you do have to sign up for a minimum of three months, which brings your total to uh, $128.85 if you sign up for the three month subscription. So the Hero product, which is the Active Enzyme Exfoliator. Um, this is a, an exfoliating face mask. And this product is new to me. I'm discovering it for the first time through this box, although I've heard about it a lot before. Um, I have previously tried his um, antioxidant cacao mask, which I loved. And what else? I've tried his hydration mask, which is one of the sidekicks. So this one is um, a new to me product. This is a professional resurfacing treatment. It's got finely ground walnut shells, which provides the manual exfoliation. And it also has um, fruit and herb enzymes. There's plant oils and honey for moisture and to help uh, clear the skin and there are antioxidants to calm and reset the skin's natural healing process. So this mask, this is the full-size product. It's uh, 1.5 fluid ounces or 45 ml and this retails for $65 and I believe um, the antioxidant cacao mask retails for the same price as well. I think also for the hydration mask. I'm going to put my hair back. Mm -hmm. I read on his site that if you apply this before, you know, your serums and oils and bombs and even masks, it helps to like, it helps the um, nutrients in, in the mask to penetrate deeper into your skin. So that's what I just did. So I'm going to maybe start with that much. Mm. You know, this reminds me of like herbal Chinese medicine that I used to that I ate growing up. So, huh. I've used this once before. Um, I received this box last week when I got back from Canada. I just really, when I saw this box, I was so excited because, you know, after traveling for, man, we were on the plane for, I mean, with the layover and everything, we were traveling for quite a while. And um, I just really wanted to exfoliate my skin. So I got home from that trip and as soon as I started unpacking a little bit, I just threw this mask on but I didn't really, you know, slow down and it, it was a whirlwind. I couldn't even tell you what my first experience was like which is why I wanted to put this on today and kind of walk you through my first impressions. I can definitely feel it's a little bit gritty. It's easier to spread than the cacao antioxidant face mask. So right now my skin is doing okay. I mean, I have some clogged pores on my chin. I had a few bumps, um, a few whiteheads, but nothing too major or painful. Um, I actually have stopped using uh, lotion P50, uh, my exfoliating lotion every single night. And I have noticed that I do um, have more spots on my face since, which is a bummer, but I want to, you know, also see that my skin would be okay if I don't use that product. And so 
My landlord is right outside. He's probably gonna think I'm crazy if he sees me. Like, what is this girl doing? <laughs> He's uh, gardening in the backyard. Okay, so first things first, I am the type of person that I normally prefer chemical exfoliants just because I have sensitive skin. And in the past, when I have used um, masks or scrubs with the physical exfoliants, my skin tends to look really red and raw afterwards. But I, um, when I was looking into this product, um, Josh says on his website that this is meant for, uh, you know, all skin types, including those with acne, sensitive skin, um, psoriasis, and even rosacea. So that um, I felt assured, <laughs> I felt safe about um, applying this. And in the past, I've never had any weird skin reactions um, using Josh Rosebrook products. And so I kind of just threw this mask on for the first time, like without any worries or issues. I believe you can keep this mask on for quite a range of time as well. Anywhere from 10 minutes to I think up to an hour, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, so the first time I tried it, um, I kept it on for 10 minutes just because I was ready to, you know, be clean and go to bed. But today I'm actually going to keep it on for 15 um, let me set a timer on my phone. I read that you can even spray this on while you, you have the mask on your face to enhance like the hydration property. So I haven't done that before. So I'm going to do that. And then when it comes time to wash, you're supposed to use um, warm water and then rinse it off gently in circles so that you can exfoliate your face. And I am curious to see if I will be red. You guys will see because... I'll hop right back on here um, right after I take it off. Today is Thursday, August 23rd. And actually, we're supposed to get hit with Hurricane Lane tonight. Um, well, yesterday, I th it was supposed to be last night, I believe. But um, I woke up this morning and everything was really peaceful and quiet. And there wasn't even much rain when I got out of bed. And then when I talked to Brandon, he said, it, you know, it's supposed to be tonight. So yeah, I mean, you guys won't see this video for at least another week because I'll likely upload this on September 1st. But that's what's going on with me here. So while this is working on my face, I'll tell you about um, sidekick number one, which is the hydrating accelerator. And this is the, the smaller travel size bottle. So this is described as a multi-purpose product. Um, it's supposed to be a toner, what else, um, a hydrator and a light moisturizer all in one. Um, as I mentioned before, if you spray this on your face before applying your oils or serums or balms, then um, it's supposed to allow for better penetration of the products. So this travel size, which is two fluid ounces or 60 ml, um, this retails for $22. And this is a product that I've used and loved. I have gone through in the past um, two of the full size bottles. And then um, this smaller travel size one I received through a previous Beauty Heroes Discovery. And I love that one as well. I frequently carried it with me when I traveled because I liked using it on the plane. So far, as for this mask, I like that it's not drippy. You know, with a lot of the honey based masks. Um, they tend to kind of create a mess if you're not, well, even if you're lying down, at least for me, I would have it drip down my neck and, you know, like go down this way and then end up on my couch or my bed. But this one, um, maybe it's also the amount that, that I put on, but it's staying put and it's not tightening up or anything. So I'm not feeling any issues with, um, you know, talking. Because with the cacao antioxidant mask, I remember it was really hard to move my mouth because it does kind of dry up. So I was actually going to wait to wash this off and then come back to tell you about the sidekick. But then I don't want to sit here with, you know, without the any kind of moisture on my face and the tight feeling again. So I'll just start telling you about this right now. So this is Josh Rosebrook's Advanced Hydration Mask. I haven't even dipped into this one yet. There we go. So according to Josh Rosebrook, this is a mask, as the name implies, that helps um, lock in moisture, plump and improve skin circulation, and it protects and supports healthy dermal function and it slows skin decline. 
So this mask is meant to be applied and then removed with a dry washcloth. So you're not rinsing it off with water and that process is supposed to help with um, stopping moisture loss and to help your skin cells like hold on to the hydration. This product is formulated for normal to dry dehydrated and sensitive skin. I wonder how this will work with me because I remember trying a sample of this um, from a previous Beauty Heroes Discovery in Korea and I think it was the winter. Um, if I remember correctly, I, maybe it was the November box two years ago and I remember I really liked it because my skin tends to be dry, especially depending on the climate. And um, I wonder how this is going to perform on me long term now that I live in Hawaii and it is way more humid here. So. I probably won't leave this one on too long. So this is the travel size. This is 0.75 fluid ounces or 22 milliliters. And okay, so I noticed that on the Beauty Heroes pamphlet, this retails for $45. But when I checked Josh Rose Brooks website, um, it's listed as $38. So I don't know which one um, needs to be updated, but I thought I'd put that out there. The other thing I wanted to mention about this mask is that when I tried the deluxe size sample, I think I got a sample of this as well as the Vital Balm Cream. So I think he came out with those two products around the same time. Um, and of the two, I remember really liking the Vital Balm Cream. So I don't remember too much about my thoughts on this mask when I first tried it. And again, I bring that up because I don't know um, just how much I'll be reaching for this, I guess, living in the climate that I live in. So I just wanted to put that out there for you. And my timer is about to go off in five seconds. So I'm gonna go rinse this off and I'll be right back. All right, so I just rinsed it off. And as I was rinsing it off, I massaged it in small, circle, um, small circles on my face. And I did rub a little bit harder around my nose because I felt like it was like kind of congested and bumpy. And I have to say, I, I don't notice like a huge difference in terms of smoothness. Um, I feel like certain masks, as soon as you take it off, it's just like your skin feels completely different. Like with, um, I felt that with the Josh's antioxidant cacao mask as well as Lil Fox's Cleopatra mask. But I don't really feel like a huge difference after taking this one off. I will say that the walnut grounds in here, they are very, very fine. So I didn't feel like it hurt me in any way. Um, but yeah, a little bit of redness, not too bad. Um, but again, like around my nose it is because I was like really put, adding a little bit more pressure there. So I'm gonna do that. Ooh, and then, I also went and washed my little spoon thing. I'm gonna add a layer of the hydration mask. Allow the mask to sit on your skin for 15 to 20 minutes. The texture is like that of a balm. Huh. Let's see. Mmm. I like how this smells. really try not to use too much because I don't think I need it. Mmm. What is the scent? I really like the smell of this. Yeah, it definitely goes on like a balm. And maybe I use too much. Okay, I'm gonna leave this on for 15 minutes. And I will come back to remove this and I'll show you what that process looks like. All right, so it's time to take it off. It was quite comfortable to wear. Um, I thought it might feel a little too heavy, like, you know, like a petroleum jelly sort of feel, but it feels really, really nice. I can imagine being in a drier climate and just feeling really good. So I'm just taking a dry muslin cloth and I'm going to just wipe it off. has sort of like a greenish tint. I don't know if you can see that, but... We don't know if I've had a mask where I just wipe off with a dry cloth. But I'm trying not to 
tug too hard at my skin and I want to leave a little bit of the product on instead of rubbing it too harshly so hmm. wow it feels good so this video is definitely more of a first impressions rather than uh, a more comprehensive review just because I've had these products for about a week now in my possession. Um, except for this, the Hydrating Accelerator, I can definitely um, recommend this strongly because I've gone through two and a half bottles in the past. And with these, I would love to see how they perform on my skin like over the long haul. And I would like to see how often I do feel the need to use the advanced hydration mask. I don't see myself using this um, exfoliating facial mask more than once a week, maybe once every other week, to be honest. All right, so if you're interested in this box, I'll have links down below. This discovery will be available until September 20th, and I have a feeling that it's probably going to sell out pretty quickly just because it is Josh Rosebrook, and if my memory serves me correctly, um, I think whenever Beauty Heroes features Josh Rosebrook, it just gets a little crazy so if you're interested definitely check it out down below and remember that if you sign up to become a member you save 15% off everything um, at their online beauty store so thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think of these products if you've tried them in the past and if you're excited about this box I'll talk to you guys soon bye